Alrighty then, here we go. We're playing GTA. We had kind of a strange turn of events. Now we have Drunken with his dog going somewhere. Okay, go home. I guess. <laughs> Molly! Oh shit, this is the mission with Molly. Okay, I get it. Studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Fruit salad has pineapple in it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. What's up with it? Eight hours a day for this part. Okay. That was fast. Yeah, nobody will nobody will see the difference between you two. Same skin color, same build, same age, even. They need you on oh, that's cool. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. At least get him a mask or makeup or something. What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post! Uh, I have a lady with me. Oh my god! This is an abduction! Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Excuse me, she really... She really drives somehow. I don't. I can. Is this an abduction? Yep, yep. She, she's annoying. This button. Say spikes. No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in. Why? Why you? Dumb bit. I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get sick? You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball. Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Get on the other side of the road. I've been abducted by a crazed man. Girl, please, wow, she's annoying. Some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself. What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much they put me in a little lazy surprise campaign when I was three. And good for you. I didn't work till I was teen. You are so going to get the electric chair. This is more lethal injection, gas chamber kind of state. But thank you. No fucking way. Here we go. The car is kind of broken. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? What? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Everything's still here, just like I found it. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Suspicious figure. What? Do you mean me or one of you? Because all of us look kind of suspicious. <laughs> suspicious figure near the garage. We really, really want this car. 
or at least what's left of it. This is kind of strange. I don't know. Where's the suspicious figure? I don't see nothing. Okay, wrong way. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh <laughs> shit! Look at this motherfucker! You doing this big, my nigga, on the set! I should have known. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right Man, there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh, oh. life. Oh, no, am I sense intention here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Okay, that's good for him. That's very good for him. Maybe he'll get some brains. Brains. But... I... Oh, really? I cannot change to any of them? That's a whole bullcrap. I want to see what happens next. Michael... Yeah, Michael and Trevor. Something, something, something. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what do we have here? Are we, are they laying low at Michael's house? I would like to see his reaction to, to what they've done. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him. And we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. Oh, they're at old Trevor's house. Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? Uh, at his previous uh, house. I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Now bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? <laughs> Business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. Can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. 
I appreciate your honesty. You're <laughs> a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. Okay. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay okay. Down. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. All right. Go, good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. But Great, right, let's go. All right. Please tell me I don't need to ride any planes. What are you do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We got to meet them in the air. I uh, well, Okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merryweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not Hold not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What? What's the end game, man? We got a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big yep. fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Whole Feeds to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax funded militia. Here we go, flying again. God damn it. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. Is it me or Trevor got new clothes? Finally. I'll get you on the radio. One eternity later. Here we go. <laughs> it's a freaking maniac. It's like that Fast and Furious movie. Come on, eh? No, 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 no. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, fuck. Do not let him get to the cockpit. Why not? What's wrong? Shit. Get off my plane. Now, who's going to fly this? Plane? Oopsie poopsie. Oh no, I don't want to fly this thing. There's been a change of personnel and destination on the Merriweather jet. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Eagle 1, Fox 2, Eagle 2, Fox 2. I'm here! I'm here! This goose is cooked, Ron! Ron! Ron, you hear me? Wee 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 wee. Is that it for the dirt? If they got to shoot, I'll bail. Okay. Uh yeah. Kind of. 
I should be walking on the side, but okay. Parachute? Parachute, thank you. All right. Bruh. Maybe? Ow. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor. Trevor Phillips. Here you go. Have a free bag. Okay, mission complete. That was a waste of time. This Roy Ron guy has Trevor, the worst missions okay? ever. I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, alright? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Okay. How the stranger? And on this note, we'll end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Yo, yo. Subscribe. Come on. I'm trying.